not too bad a day out there. Seems kind of calm, but a little bit cooler. Cloudy out there. We have had some sprinkles across southern portions of the valley. We'll see those continue mm -hmm. through the overnight hours, but much more unsettled weather as we head through the uh, first half of this week. And we'll get into that here in just a moment. But first, let's take a live look outside on the CorwinAuto.com Valley Skycam. Some cloudy skies still here in the Fargo-Moorhead area. And it's, it's on the cool side, 46 degrees. It feels more like 42 winds out of the northeast at 7. They'll continue out of the northeast 5 to 15 miles per hour tonight. And those northeasterly breezes will continue as we head through your Monday. It's getting chilly out there off towards the north where we've got less cloudiness. That's allowing the uh, heat to escape. A bit uh, quicker, 34 up in Langdon, also 34 in Roseau, 31 in Bemidji, off to the south where we got more cloudiness, a bit warmer, 45 in Oaks, 47 down in the Sisseton area. Here are the clouds, and again, quite a bit of them along and south of the I-94 Highway 10 corridor and underneath these clouds. Quite a bit of rain showing up on the radar, but a lot of this not reaching the ground. Get a closer look at that where we're seeing the darker greens. That's where you might see a few sprinkles. But uh, again, most of that's not reaching the ground. Better chance for rain will be just off to the south where more, our, more activity is developing down over parts of South Dakota and southwestern Minnesota. That's where the better chance for a few showers overnight is. But until this activity gets on out of here in the next few hours, look for a chance for a few sprinkles in the far southern valley. And that rain extends over into parts of uh, Minnesota, just north of the cities, just south of Duluth, seeing some pockets of uh, moderate rain perhaps and again that activity getting on out of here for us tomorrow mostly quiet late in the day though we'll start to see some changes in the form of some rain speaking of rain a lot of it too much of it in some cases over parts of texas and louisiana some flash flood warnings there tornado watch continues until the wee hours of the morning for parts of the gulf coast states for us as we head through the rest of the night again that chance for a few sprinkles across the far south Otherwise, it's going to be a, a chilly night, dropping down into the 20s and the 30s during the overnight hours with some variable cloudiness. Tomorrow, we'll see a mix of some clouds and sunshine, and temperatures similar to today, getting on up into the 50s, and those clouds will begin to thicken and lower, and increasing clouds as we get towards the latter portions of the day. Temperatures warming up into the 40s and 50s, but as we head through the uh, latter portions of the day, here comes the first of several waves of rain that we'll be seeing over the next few days, and some of that rain may mix with or even change over to snow on Wednesday, especially over parts of the Northern Valley. If that does happen, enough cold air gets in here, we could see some minor accumulations in the far Northern Valley. For us here in the Fargo-Moorhead area, partly cloudy skies, a cool start to the day right at the freezing point. And it'll feel a touch cooler that with those light northeasterly breezes. Mid to upper 40s by your lunch hour with some light winds out of the east and northeast. And by the end of the day, we're gonna see those clouds start to increase. Getting up into the lower 50s, easterly breezes, and that rain starts to move in as we head towards the late evening and overnight hours. Seven-day forecast looking like this. Yeah, tomorrow we'll have that chance for some late rain. Some showers around on Tuesday on the warmer side of this system. And then on Wednesday, pretty good chance for some rain. Could see some snow north, and it could end this snow in many areas, especially off towards the east. Temperatures in the mid-40s early on with temperatures falling throughout the day. Then some low 30s for your Thursday to start off with. And we're not going to get out of the mid 40s the way it looks right now for Thursday and Friday. Saturday and Sunday look a touch warmer. And along with that, a chance for a few showers on Saturday. So the storm system still developing. Not looking for a major snowstorm, but we could see our first flakes of the year in parts of the region. But with a light at the end of the tunnel for the weekend. Again. Exactly. Improving conditions. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. Robert. That hands-free technology in your car is mighty helpful, but please say, don't rely on it too heavily. But first, how you can decorate to scare and make sure everyone gets a treat for cheap this Halloween.